After her annual mammogram in 2017, Frances Hammond was told that there's a suspicious mass. A further test revealed that that mass was breast cancer. There was radiation and chemotherapy, and the doctors told her to maintain her medications. The one thing the doctors did not have to remind this vibrant 60-year-old mother to do was to maintain a positive attitude. Frances Hammond calls her story of survival the unexpected detour. After the test, the doctors called her back to take a biopsy. But to be very frank with you, I used to notice a lump underneath my armpit, but I never put the two together. But the oncologist did, and it started an unexpected journey on redefining her self-preservation, a journey that Frances wasn't fully prepared to take, but knew it had to be done. Because my fear was my mother had breast, she didn't have breast cancer, she had cancer. and. My son would tell me, but that's grandma's journey. This is your journey, and you're going to be okay. The nurses would tell me the same thing, and my doctor. The doctors treated Frances with medications, but the full navigation for her health was all hers. One little thing that they can control is makes the world a difference in, in their journey. Um, and when I got into the room with Frances, you just can tell this illuminating, engaging woman who, you know, like she draws you in. And once you're in, <laughs> you're just full of a good day. To just stay away from negative people and just to stay in tune with God, that really was the key. Frances now has a podcast that she calls the unexpected detour, sharing her process for those who go through their own unexpected journey and own unexpected diagnosis who need positive reinforcement. Live a stress-free free life. Even if it means you don't have to be bothered with family who is stressful, you do that too. So that is how I got through what I got and I want other women to be able to get through their journey the same way. Through her journey, Frances and nurse Benita Lee Smith have developed a special bond. Frances also tells me that she'll be taking medications for the next 10 years, but none of that has dampened her indelible spirit to live and her infectious, positive personality. <laughs>